Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you about for loops on Roblox. Okay, so as always, because this is a beginner scripting tutorial, this is just going to be for beginners or if you'd like to review whatever, you know, new concepts or whatever you learned in the past. Um, so let's get right into it. So for loops are basically just a way to repeat a bunch of code multiple times. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new script under server script service and let's just name it for loops and we're just gonna make a for loop inside of here so let's just delete the print hello world and I'll just show you how to make a for loop so the, our keyword for a for loop is for and then we gonna have, we're gonna have a variable that increments every single time the loop goes around so in this case I'm just gonna name it count and now we're gonna say equals because we want to set the original value and then I'm just gonna give so I'm gonna say one so that's where it's gonna start so it's gonna be the first time it goes around it's gonna equal one and I wanna have the loop execute whatever code is inside of it five times so one comma five and then I'm just gonna say do at the end of it press enter and it's gonna have an end now if I just print count this will give you a little bit of a better understanding of what this actually does you'll see it'll print one two three four five now just to show you if we change count right here if we change the starting number if we change that to three it'll only print three four five and if we go in, you'll see that right here it'll only print three four five so you can start at whichever number you'd like to with four loops now that's one way you can do it and you're incrementing by one but maybe you want to increment like by two or by threes or by fours or any other number so you instead of saying three four five if you increment by twos you just say three and five you'd skip the four so to do that we could say four count equals one and let's just do it up to ten this time and we can increment by two and now if we say do we'll just print count once again like we did before and then if we go into the game you see it'll print one three five seven nine so that's all the odd numbers because we're skipping by two but now if we start count at zero and go to ten it'll print the even numbers so start at zero two four six eight ten so that's just how you increment and you do counts now you can also do negative counts if you'd like to so before we had four count equals one comma five do right and we just printed count and that went upwards now maybe we want to go negative and we want to go the other way so we could say five right so start at the higher number and then go to one and then we could say our the way we increment could be down so if we say negative one that means we're going to go down each time so instead of printing you know uh, one two three four five it's going to print five four three two one and if we just go into the game by clicking play you'll see that right here five four three two one now you don't just have to print inside of for loops you can do anything you'd like to so maybe if I want to print count maybe if I want to print like I don't know maybe like count is my favorite number I could you know print one plus one I could I don't even have to do prints right I could create variables I could say local you know count plus one equals count plus one right and I can print that and you can do any normal code right that you would run in Lua inside of this this is just a container that will run your code multiple times and you'll see right here see it's printing it's doing all the code that we said for it to do so another good use for for loops is with arrays as I talked about in the previous video when you want to increment through arrays so I'll just show you that once again so if we just I'll just delete this and now if we just create a new array we can maybe just name it say local uh, names equals and then let's just say Wyatt Bob and George we, maybe we want to increment through each of these names and do something with it so the way we could do that is using the same for loop structure that we were just using we could say for count equals one right so we start at one and then we just say hashtag names which gets the amount so three in this case of the array the amount 
and then we just say do like we did before and now we can do whatever we could for each one whatever we want for each one of these so maybe we want to get the name itself so we just say uh, local current name equals names and then count so if we just print it print current name you see just like before it'll print each name Wyatt Bob George and we can do any code we want inside of here anything that we want to do to the names we could concatenate the names together we could run code that changed the color of a part change some text anything that you'd want to do with for loops thank you so much for watching I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox as always I'll have the paste of link with the code for this video in the description and I'll see you later